an unassuming but devastating device, is a force to be reckoned with in Black Ops Cold War, displaying unaware soldiers in clear view on enemy radar. The field mic. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, the field mic has clearly become the dominant choice for field upgrade. If you've ever wondered why you are getting pre-fired and destroyed every time you approach the B domination capture zone, you are probably being lit up on enemy radar by a field mic. It's a brand new piece of equipment in the Call of Duty franchise, and as a result, there's quite a bit of confusion out there about how it actually works. In today's video, we'll cover all the details. I'll explain how the field mic works, how to use it effectively, and all of the available counters, helping you decide if the field mic deserves to be your go-to option for field upgrade. The in-game description describes the field mic as a listening device that highlights enemy sounds on your minimap. Unlocked at level 4, the field mic has unlimited duration and will last until the end of the round or until destroyed by the enemy. You can have as many as two field mics deployed at any given time. The default recharge time is high at 3 minutes and 30 seconds, but this can be reduced to 2 minutes and 35 seconds with the gearhead perk equipped. Before we look at the best ways to use the field mic, Let's jump into a private match and see how the field mic actually works. Field mic planted. Once placed on the map, the field mic coverage area appears on the minimap as two circles. The filled inner circle is the high sensitivity area and covers a 12 meter radius. The outer circle represents a reduced sensitivity area and extends out to a 20 meter radius around the field mic. The field mic acts as a portable listening device. It listens for the sounds of enemy players and indicates their position in real time on the minimap. As we know, players make more noise as they move faster, so the faster they move, the more susceptible they are to the field mic. Here's how the field mic displays enemies moving at different speeds. As you can see, a sprinting enemy is visible in both the inner and outer circle of the field mic. A walking enemy is only visible in the inner circle, and an enemy player which is crouch walking or moving slower won't appear on the field mic display at all. In addition to detecting enemy footsteps, the field mic will also detect gunfire. Enemies which fire their weapon within the field mic coverage area will be visible on the minimap even if their weapon is equipped with the silencer attachment. It's important to note that the field mic information is only visible by the player which placed the field mic and is of no benefit whatsoever to teammates. Now that we understand how the field mic works, we can discuss some strategies to use it more effectively. The best way to use the field mic is to place it in high traffic areas, such as a hardpoint or domination capture zone, while also keeping it well hidden. In this example, I place the field mic out of sight near the enemy spawn. They're now at a huge disadvantage as I can simply pre-fire them as they approach and they have no idea that they're visible on my minimap. Another great location is on the ledge below B-Dom on Armada. It will often go unnoticed here and last the entire round and you'll have full coverage of the B-Capture zone as well as the room above B-Dom. So how do we counter the field mic? Jammer. The jammer field upgrade is the direct counter to the field mic and will completely obscure the field mic area. 
Enemy counter spy plane inbound. The counter spy plane will also obscure the entire minimap and render the field mic useless while the spy plane is active. The ninja perk provides quieter footsteps and is resistant to the field mic. While sprinting with ninja equipped, you'll be invisible to the field mic in the outer circle coverage area. However, you will still appear in the inner circle, so while it doesn't completely negate the effects of the field mic, it does provide some protection. The field mic has very little health, and if found, can be easily destroyed by a single round from any weapon or by one melee strike. Enemy field mic removed. The field mic will also be destroyed if it's within the blast radius of any explosive. Enemy throwing sentry. The key to destroying the field mic is finding it. The engineer perk allows you to see enemy equipment through walls and will at least make you aware of enemy field mics. Another option is the spy craft perk. When used in conjunction with engineer, you'll have the ability to locate and hack enemy field upgrades. You'll need to be very close to the enemy field mic to do so, but once hacked, the field mic becomes yours. To be completely thorough, I also tested the decoy grenade. And while it does show up in the field mic area as an orange dot, it doesn't offer much of a counter as the enemy will likely be hearing the effects of the decoy while observing the stationary orange dot and will know exactly what's going on. So that completes my breakdown of the field mic, an incredibly popular choice for field upgrade and without any available perks to fully counter it, it leads me to an obvious question. Is the field mic overpowered? I believe it is. In a lot of ways, it's more powerful than even a spy plane. And since it's a field upgrade, it's earned simply by participating in the game and waiting for the charge time to elapse. Of course, this is just my opinion and I would love to hear from you guys. Is the field mic balanced as is or does it need a change? Let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.